I'm on my way to detect around an 18th century mansion house which I've already done a video for that um, it seems to get a lot of views people seem to like that but um, it's not one of my best so hopefully I can do a little bit better this time and pull up some good coins um, I think on the last video I only pulled up one silver coin and to be honest I don't find many silver coins at all at this site but I'm going in a different field today and also gonna detect down the side of the road so I've probably got three hours so we'll see what we'll find um, stay tuned and hopefully you'll see some decent finds most viewers will know that when I do a metal detecting video it's either windy or it's raining Today, not only have I got wind and rain, uh, I've completed the trifecta, but I also haven't cooled as well. So, it's a freezing cold day, it's wet and it's windy. But hopefully, I'll get some decent footage. Oh, get in there. We're only five minutes into the hunt. I've dug one piece of lead. And now, a sixpence. Uh, a Victoria sixpence. I find very few old coins on this site, so that is, that's good. That's marvellous. 18, 1856. It's in fairly good condition as well. I'll get it cleaned up, let you have a look at the end, but uh, that's a great find. It probably is about six, seven inches down. Um, with the E-Track, I've got the big coil on. This didn't give a very good signal though, because it is in a quite a trashy area. Um, but it's, it pulled it up, so that's, that's a good find. Excellent start. I've just come from about a quarter of a mile of huge Wellingtonia, giant redwood trees. Loads of grass either side, found nothing. So, I've left those trees. Um, I really thought I would find something up and down the side of the road, but sadly not. And in this uh, very shallow dig, next to this strange feature with a bit of a almost like a bird bath sort of thing in it um, steps leading down into it I've found what I think is a little weight it'll need cleaning up but it looks like a little brass weight it's a nice deep one and it's a threepenny bit can't see the date on it but it's uh, pretty much worthless. It's an Elizabeth II so it's not even a very old one. That's a penny. That's a, just an ordinary penny that you'd see nowadays down at six, seven inches and unfortunately that's been the story of the hunt so far. Outside a church right next to the mansion I'm just finding pennies and two pences way down in the ground. Hell of a lot of bottle caps and rubbish. Hey, get in there. At least that's one I can spend. Pound coin there. Get in there, that's another spendable one. Two pound coin. It's in a bit of a state though. Amazing how quickly the, the discolour, they're just made of crap. This field here is used for a fair every year. And there's a lot of modern coins in here. I'm struggling a bit with a big coil, but I'm trying to get deep old coins. This is probably about eight or nine inches down, but that's a threepenny bit. Not a silver one, unfortunately. It's a more modern one. See the imprint where it was there. It's the imprint of the coin. So it was, it was a kind of old depth. Um, I've been using the big coil, but I think even the small coil should be able to pick something like that up. So the next time I come in here, I'm going to bring the small coil and really try and bash it pretty hard. Uh, get through all the rubbish and try and pull a few coins up. Here's the bit of road um, that I came up before. I did all down the sides of here and found absolutely nothing. The size of those trees, they were planted in the 1860s. And I would have imagined that there would have been hundreds of people wandering up and down here looking at these trees you know in the last 50 years or so when they got big old houses here but I found absolutely nothing so I'm on my way home now and I'm going to give you a brief rundown of the finds today
Well, this is the sum total of what I found on a probably about a two and a half hour hunt. These are modern two pences and one pences. There's 20 pence. There's two old half pennies. One's Elizabeth II, the other one I think is George V. New half pennies. They were a canny depth and they're a tiny little coin, so it did well to find them. Uh, the old 50 pence, the old threepenny bits, a one ounce weight, a couple of pound coins, and a two pound coin. And the one good coin that I found was actually the first thing to be found. And that's it there. It's an 1856 Victoria sixpence. It's in really good condition apart from the six of sixpence has been pretty much worn away. You can read pence very easily and the date, 1856, everything else is good condition apart from that one area where it's been worn, which is very strange. That's the head side again. It's not bad. So two and a half hours, all those coins, um, but I dug quite a lot of rubbish. Now that's a rare old pocket full of rubbish, including some buckles, um, old buttons, keys, and a nice light switch. Which on the face of it still works, so I'm going to clean that up and stick it on eBay probably. <laughs> Maybe it's not. So that's it. Two and a half hours, a load of muck. A load of other muck and one good coin. Thanks for watching.